Hello again, welcome to today's attempt at the Fusal Puzzle. This is Wordle, but the rules change on every row. So for example, on the top row, one tile and the row will be a lie. So I'm actually going to be using some slightly less common letters on this guess. I'm hoping that if it wasn't lying, I would get five greys. And so what it's going to give me is four greys and then one letter that's a yellow or green. And I can just assume that that is the letter that is lying and actually should be grey instead. And there we go, that's actually worked brilliantly assuming that my assumption is correct and that all of them should be grey. Right, one to three tiles are incognito, so it doesn't really matter what we put in third and fourth. So let's just try the S, T and E. And that's worked nicely. We've got two letters straight away. My guess can be a length of any word with its vowels removed. Okay, so we cannot put any vowels in this guess. What do we want to try? How about conspire that tries oh no because I'm assuming there's no C so let's take that back I'm assuming there's no P L C or K so what do I want to try instead shoulder oh I shouldn't have tried the S in first because I knew it shouldn't be there at least I've ruled out four letters anyway yellow and green tiles are ambiguous so what do we think we should try? Where's the S going to go? It's not usually a duplicated S. Oh, so sorry, it's not usually a plural, so that means if it's towards the end, it's going to be a duplicated S, because it can't be an S-E ending. The S could just be somewhere in the middle, but can't actually work out what we would be doing. The only other vowel we can use Oh, we still could use the O or the A or the I, actually. We haven't used any of them. So that's not helpful. So what is a sensible guess on this attempt? Um, at the moment, I'm ignoring the rule change. Yellow and green tiles being ambiguous doesn't matter until after we've had our guess. I suppose it could be an SY ending. I don't think it can be guess, because then there would be more than one lying tile on the first row. And I'm struggling to think of anything else that it could be the answer that ends with a double S. So I'm desperately trying to work out what the word can be if it doesn't end in S. Maybe I should just try an S at the end. But then yellow and green tiles being ambiguous means I still won't know if it is indeed in that position. So what should I try? I guess I probably should just try some common other letters. Let's try Aegis. I mean, this is obviously not common enough to be correct, but I've used it before in a few other word variants. It feels a little bit like cheating because it's really not in common parlance. And I have no idea what it means, to be honest, but I know it's a word. And it feels like it will be a useful word in this situation. Right, we've got the E, I, and S. So we're making slight progress. My guess must repeat a letter. So what is a sensible thing to try? Um, let's try wises, as in he wises up to the fact that he might actually fail this, because then I'll know for sure if the S is last. Oh, and it is going to be a plural. And the S is last. Origins mean that the letter is within three alphabetically, right? So it could be wines or wipes. But the good news is, if I go for one, yeah, the good news is, if I go for one of those and it's orange, then I'll know that it's probably the other one. Is there anything else it could be? A V, I suppose. But again, if I go for an N or a P and it's not orange, then I'll know that it's more likely to be a V. Let's go for the N. It's not orange, I'm going to go for the V, but this is my last chance. That is a relief. So assuming it was not a plural was a very bad tactic as it happened, but just about got there on my last guess and kept up the 100% win rate. Definitely not my best performance, but it's quite a difficult one. It was a plural, it had a V and a W, I could make excuses, but I don't need to because I succeeded eventually.
That's the Fusel Puzzle. Thank you for watching and bye for now.